But first, we've got another Love Island panel. Hello, guys. They're here to discuss right. the latest goings on. Joining us today, ex Islanders Dr. Alex is here. Eel Booker is here as well. And former Celebrity Big Brother winner, who I haven't seen in a good few years, <laughs> Chantel Houghton. Very good to see you. Hey, very nice yeah. to see you. Uh, let's talk about Love Island with you two, because former contestants. Mm -hmm. When you're watching it, are you keeping up with it? Does it take you right back? Do you think, oh, I wish I was there again? Or do you think, so glad that's done with? Well, actually, I've really enjoyed this uh, season. The first episode gave me palpitations because it reminded me of walking <laughs> in and how yeah. maybe badly that went. Um, <laughs> okay. I, I you ended up on the sub spend. Yeah, I was sub yeah. twice or three times, yeah. can't remember. Um, but I've really enjoyed it, actually. And as the season's gone on, I've got really gripped. And now if I miss an episode, I'm like, oh, I've got to watch it on catch up. It's been great. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to watch the drama unfold and you know that you're not in the thick of it. Yeah. So you can sit back, you're sipping your drink and somebody else is, yeah. somebody else is going to They talk that. a lot in there about, um, you know, you're in this bubble, Chantel, that you don't know what's going out in the outside world and everything is very intense. Does that yeah. feel the same in Big Brother? You know, like the smallest thing outside wouldn't bother you becomes an enormous row. Yeah, it's just like a pressure cooker, you know. Yeah. It's just like literally anything could happen. It's just like, you know, so many arguments yeah. over like one tiny thing that wouldn't even bother you. Because I think sometimes when people come out, looking back, do you look back and think, why were we all so bothered about that? Uh, yeah, of course, you know, it, but within that environment, that's all you care about and that's all you know. So only after, when you put it into perspective in the real world yeah. and what actually matters, you think, you know what, maybe I shouldn't have reacted yeah. that way or done that. But, but the, I think uh, the, the real world, I hope the real world's been kind uh, to you and uh, Alex, but um, Chantal, for you... It was rough enough, wasn't it? I mean, the reality coming out into the real world and, and the fame that followed. And trolling. And... Yeah, I mean, God, I went in there and I honestly thought I'd do, like, one interview and then that would be it. I'd just go back to normal life. And obviously I'm grateful for everything that happened and I had a lot of support from the producers um, and everyone from the show. But, um, yeah, it was a great experience. What would, what would your advice be to the people coming out? You know, there's so much social media now, you're completely under the, the public yeah. spotlight. What would your be advice to people coming out? Well, you've really got to have a thick skin, stay grounded, don't buy, you don't sp like splash all your money because it won't last forever. And yeah, you're just not be the fun. first one that said that. Yeah, so yeah. the uh, thing yeah. is, that's the thing. Like they just go and buy all these like flash cars and designer handbags, and then all of a sudden, and you've got no work and no money. You've done that yet? I do I do love my cars, so um, I've started yeah. the YouTube channel on cars, but yeah. uh, not spent too much money. Yeah. Mm. But, but, Anil, how have you found life? How is it the experience um, outside? It was it was overwhelming at first, and I do, and I think everyone finds it that. But it's been incredible, you know, the opportunities that come from it. Um, and I think if you're passionate about something and you focus your energy on your passions, then you can really achieve a lot with the. So, so what have you given. achieved? What would you say you've achieved? What's different in your day-to-day -day living? than it was before. Yeah, and how, how has Love Island helped us? Yeah, so day-to-day -day living, I'd, it's still the same, and that's what I like, but I'm just working more, you know? I'm working with different brands that I wished I worked with. I've gone on to do other TV shows that have been exciting. I went to the Philippines with World Vision to raise awareness for their charity. I'm working on a documentary at the moment, so so many things that I only dreamed of doing allowed and so the platform of Love Island yeah. opened But in a way, Alex, you were always defined by being a medic mm. um, as well. Is that still the case? Yeah, it was so important for me when I came out to go back to work and people said, are you going to go back to A&E? And for me it was like, well, yeah, obviously I've come to train my, <laughs> yeah. all my life to do it. And what Love Island's given me is a platform to talk about health to young people, really, and tackle issues that affect them. And that, for me, is so important. For example, the podcast I've spoken uh, about mental health and I've had people messaging saying, you know, the fact that you've spoken about it, I felt that I could go and ask for help yeah. and see my GP. And that, yeah. for me, means the world. So, so it's yeah. about... It's about focusing on the positive yeah. things, opportunities that being on a reality show affords but, you. Chantel, that whole duty of care thing, and Alex saying he's got young people relating to him, being able to explain their message to him, did you feel, fr from your point of view, there were enough people afterwards to look after you, to, to be there when, when things got really tough? Um, I'd probably have, well, yeah, they were definitely there for me. Um, but to be honest, I have got a great family and they were really supportive. And so I didn't actually need any sort of aftercare. But should I have needed it, they would have been there. And, you know, and what I got from being on Big Brother was, you know, I've gone to places that I'd never have been able to afford to, I've eaten food, I've, you know, all these life experiences. So, I'll, I'll so be no regrets, any of you? 
No, no definitely no. not. No. Not at all. No. I feel very lucky and blessed. Yeah. yeah. Um, just quickly then, final on Monday, who do you think is going to win? Who would you like oh. to win? I'd, I've said this, I'd love uh, Maura and Ovi to couple up and win. Yeah. That's why <laughs> Maura I, I think the whole country okay. wants that. <laughs> what do you think? Um, for me, it's Tommy and Molly. They are what the show's all about. Um, they're genuine and we've seen their journey. Yeah. So, so that's you what I want to win. You romantic. I'm a hopeless romantic. I am. Yeah. You agree with that, Chantal? Yeah, I do, definitely, 100%. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Guys, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.